Right, if you live in this community and you pay taxes, come out and vote, decide how your tax dollars get spent. community members directly decide how to spend part of the public budget. Oh, this is different because you're actually voting for where the money is going to be spent instead of allowing them to decide where to spend the money. Who knows better about their community than the people that live in their community? So how does it work? First, people brainstorm ideas. They come together in neighborhood assemblies and start to think of what kinds of projects would they like to see in their neighborhood. Volunteers take people's initial ideas and turn them into real projects. We started with maybe about 40 projects, and so we had a series of budget delegate meetings, and we narrowed down the list into about four or five projects. What are the real needs of the community? If you only have a certain amount of money, what is it that you can do that's going to benefit as many people as possible? We're asking for a projector and 30 Mac laptops. Displays at bus shelters throughout the district, and it will tell people when the next bus is due to arrive. I'm dreaming of new benches, modern benches. Seniors have nowhere to go. People get a taste of making the tough decisions and coming up with things that can be done to improve their community. And they bring them back to the public for a vote. It's a way of validating every voice in our community and saying, you know what, whatever your position is, you live in our community, you have a right to decide. And that me as a representative and government should respond and should listen to that voice. The projects with the most votes get funded. They are then implemented over the next few years, and the following year, the process starts again. People brainstorm new ideas, turn them into new projects, vote on them, and fund more improvements for their community. PB becomes part of the budget process. It becomes a new way of governing. I think this is like the greatest wave of democracy coming into the United States. It started in Porto Alegre, Brazil in 1989. From there, it spread all over Latin America and to over 1,500 cities around the world. In Toronto, public housing tenants have decided to spend millions of dollars each year on improvements to their buildings. In Chicago and New York, city council members have set aside discretionary funds for the community to decide. In Vallejo, California, PB has been used citywide for funds from a new sales tax. This was a great opportunity for you to be a part of government and better the city you live in. Like, who wouldn't want to take advantage of that? We're creating a more educated platform of voters overall. So I think this can only be good for the big project of democracy.